It's a good starting five for Connecticut. Jasmine Thomas, Williams, Aguma K, Thomas, and Strickland. Skyler returns, and she'll be joined by Alicia Gray, Liz Cambage, Kayla Thornton, and Glory Johnson. Want to get back. Of those games, have they been over 39 points in an opening half? Mike Price, Tim Green. There's been a game yet where Liz has not won the tip. I, I don't think too many teams even challenged her scholar until the teams were being introduced. And even then she had to run back to the locker room. And oh my goodness. It is set up for a player like Alyssa Thomas to have a lot of success as we see glory. That's a welcome sight. Aguma K working on Cam Bay with the left hand. Pulls down the board. Williams launches it and drills. Four-game win streak. Connecticut has raised their field goal percentage by two percentage points. They cut that. Glory looks down. Cam Bays. Great position inside. Was because she has found some early moments in the offense where she has these opportunities to get storyline to that game. You rarely see a person, a player like Ogubike even react negatively. Between these two teams. Liz Cambage in and out. Kayla Thornton offensive rebound. And it's swiping that ball into the defender. On the driving with the left. Here throughout this entire game, Kurt Miller from the sideline really urging his team not to just focus on the offense, but be active defensively. Body language because your team's going to feed off of you. All 10 of Dallas points have been in the paint except for that one. Pat. And so when you can have practices that are high level at this time of year, that's, that's good. Thomas now eight straight points for Connecticut. Aguma K right on her. They show the double with Strickland. Liz turns away from it. Her first. Well, they've been running this bit of tea game action all season. And it really allows to Liz time and space with all Williams Franklin, one of the assistant coaches, trying to get her to just take an extra step back. Here comes Kayla Thornton after the steal. Skyler for three. Yes. Their passer can see you and easily make the pass. Cam Bays cannot. Was Thomas on the dribble drive? No. The touch pass caught by Williams. Great read. One-on-one -on -one ISO coverage. She doesn't like that there wasn't a call, but these are gonna these situations put Connecticut in number advantage situations, which now they find when she gets touches. We can see here comes an almost double team, and she read it really well. She she knew that it wasn't there. It's time to go one on one. She doesn't like that there wasn't a call, but I think that defense was in their plane. Another look and opportunity at it, and it, it, I don't know. I mean, it could have gone either. Not a good sign. Spin move rejected. Ball screens. The step up screen and transition is what creates this a good rotation by the wings. Thomas pull up jumper knocks it down. on that weak side, preventing the illegal defensive call. But that's what's it's on her. Thomas just splits the defense. What a move. And Schuyler gives it up. Azare Hill with one point. One rattles with the. Kayla George checked in a lot of for the wings. Everybody reading off of that dive and replacing spots. Three on the shot clock. Really and providing that contest. Clarendon floats it over. Azare Stevens out. Jockwell Jones. Nice job, Azare Stevens. That foul call being made. Dallas going with this big lineup. He'll pull up jumper. She's got guard. Again, guard accountability to contain her. Boy, that's the second time we've seen shot clock at eight. Aguma K will clean it up. And Laney on the right side. Cleared a nice pass. Great look inside. Connecticut's led by as many as 13. Tuck right around Azarice. NBA, she's finding, I think, a healthy flow. She's playing off of her teammates well. Great find. And the double figures for Dallas with 10. Jones tries to answer and she rattles it home. in this losing streak at halftime. Tuck. Thanks, Kayla Thornton. Got it to go. More on one right there with Azarice Stevens to make her play physical. Skyler finds the baseline. Shot clock at five. Spin move by Alyssa Thomas. Got it. Clock at five. Thomas hesitation. Nice roll to the hoop. Easy two, Aguma. Liz gets way deep inside, gets her own rebound and put back. Hit five. 
Koski Thomas looks up, lets it fly, rattles it home for it. She has great leadership qualities about her, including she always is in control of her body language, as we see there uh, back in the day with those Duke players. I think so. Being great leaders. Kayla Thornton for three, knocks it on the air. Agumake on the pick and roll again, and Gepke for her first points this season, takes it away. Has it rejected, it'll belong. By coming back from an ACL, no. she gets into the paint, she roughs it up a little bit. And hit the three we saw last year, Liz with one hand. But this is exceptional. Great drop down the tunnel. Basket by top. First and one, by the way. Liz Cambage way deep inside. Shot clock at nine. Thomas pull up jumper. And just hack. Here comes Thomas. The big stop. The big hook. That ability to influence your team. And I love the influence that players like Teresa plays on. Plays on who can stretch the D. Legit stretch the D. Not just right. take bad shots, but actually... Skyler gets rubbed off just a little bit. Thomas overplays ice. Liz looking for some help. Just lowers the shoulder. Plays ice. Tries to come up with it. Still loose. Hustle. Oh, no. Liz, yes. This possession, I love the hustle, the second effort, the grit, and the grind that it took. But Liz got off the floor. Didn't watch him out. She went after it, and she wants to... Teresa for three. Get her first of the it to Teresa and she sank it. But then right on the other end of Teresa. A little lazy pass on the inside and Connecticut three on one. Uh, Strickland's pull up. Knocks down the three. Have an upset in the first two rounds. No question. Teresa again. Her second of the ball. But she also tells her passer great pass. Fights for the rebound, can't get it, swats it away. Pull up by Williams, and it walk into the lineup for Connecticut. Liz sees the double, pulls away from Williams. Gives it up to Skyler. Shaking, banking, scooping, and scoring. Closing it on two to play. Aguma K plays on, puts the hands, looks to set the pick. Williams back to Jones. Overplays Hobbs, knocks down the, Get the basket. Mentioned the last four games during this win streak, she averaged 17 lift and points with six. These officials are ready to call a technical on somebody. Pull up junket, four players in double figures. Nice pass inside, Jock will Skyler floats it with the left hand. Azare got it, puts it back. Skyler back to Azare, little 10-footer. Liz, offensive rebound, she's got with her as she's worked through some you know, different situations and gotten better. Azare knocks it. Shot clock at five. Morgan, nice pass inside the jump. The ball, nobody holds on to it really quickly for Connecticut. Azare's field. Skyler has it rejected. It'll belong to the game forcing her to sit out the previous two contests. Players always moving on the floor. Jockwell Jones for three. Shot clock at five. Morgan Tuck has to give it up. That's going to be in a whistle and a foul. Cam Beige holding on to her head. She is down. The foul's going to be on Connecticut. Here it is again. Well, we'll see here just her being kind of... Ooh. It looked... But she snapped I mean, her head. You see her, the way John Quill Jones wraps her arm around and really kind of horse collars her there down to the ground. Well, I think this is going to be more than a common foul. It, it will be. Well, we can't quite see her head because Azure Stevens. that. Well, they're calling it just a regular offensive foul. I'm a little surprised at that. So time running short on Dallas. Down by 17. Wide open. Side of Goomba. To handle. Taylor Hill, no. Liz times the offensive rebound and the putback. Their four game win streak started right here against Dallas, but then a defense. Azure posting up inside. Great position. Well, post the play. Try and create open scenes for Liz Cambage to penetrate off the bounce. But maybe not from that far out. Okay, Liz. <laughs> 
Just gets some good solid possessions and a couple of stops. Plays on. Tough catch and shoot. Hill gives it back. Skyler digging Smith for three. And Sky knocks it. And then Liz goes down. And Allison knows something is not right. They're trained uh, to look for certain things. And what is worrying everybody right Liz now. Liz Cambage is in the locker room now. I don't think we'll see her in the final two and a half minutes. Tom, a trip to Atlanta, to Washington, then take on Connecticut again. Hill from the 18th, 7 p.m. You can see it here on Fox Sports Southwest Plus. Teresa plays. A little flare screen action for her. She knew time is the essence, and she knows I can hit this shot. Give me the ball. Yeah. Azure turns and shoots. Teresa plays on, tries to keep it alive. Skyler digging Smith for three. No. Bantam pulls it down, lost it, plays off, yes! Teresa plays off, whale of a game. One of the bright spots, 13 points, but it's not going to be enough.